Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hello, my name is V. I post nail tutorials every Thursday and Sunday at 8.15 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss out on future videos as I do insert giveaways in them randomly. I'm finally bringing you guys my desk tour. I'm gonna be showing you everything that I have in my nail desk at my nail salon and how I keep everything nice and organized. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks and just stuff that I've used that have helped me keep my stuff nice and neat. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Getting right into it, this is the view from my client perspective or anyone that walks into my salon. This is the view that they get. So right over here to my left side, I have my Kiara Sky rechargeable LED light. Highly recommended. I absolutely love that it's cordless. I can move it wherever I want and I don't have to worry about any cords being in the way. Now I have my hand sanitizer, of course. This is from Profiles Backstage, it smells so good. And then right here in the middle, I have my client's armrest. And then off to the left, I have all of my stuff that I normally use for every single client. I have my Dappen dish, my glue, more bits in that little Dappen dish, protein bond, cuticle oil, acetone, monomer, swipe, my barbicide container, and some alcohol and I do think I need to change out this bottle because it does not match with anything <laughs> but that'll be later on. I have my paper towels and now I'm going to be showing you the view from my perspective. Okay so this is what I see every day all day when I am working. This is from my chair. Off to my right, I have my Kiara Sky rechargeable file. Again, I absolutely love that there's no cords in the way. I don't have to worry about anything in this area. And then right here, I just keep a towel. I have my Valentino, but when I'm not using it, I just go ahead and place a towel over it so it's nice and flat. And then I do keep my Archon mount right here just when I'm recording. If I don't, I put it off to the side so it's not in my way or in my client's way. So right over here, I have this cute little crown. This is from Profiles Backstage and it is a brush holder. I think it is so cute and I absolutely love it. I keep my go-to acrylic brushes right here, nice and neat. I've been obsessed with using my Profiles Backstage acrylic brush. So I keep that ready to go in reach for me. And then I have my little accent rings for my practice hand. And of course my ring palette for nail art. And we know we need some safety glasses, so I keep those right there just in case I need them. Trust me, we need to protect our eyes. It's happened to me before where I get some dust in there and it is not fun. Now right behind that, I have a matching cup with the matching container. So in my cup, I keep all my go-to nail art brushes, my dust brush, and my tip cutters as well. So in the container, I keep my sanding bands. I love that it is covered so I don't have to worry about any contamination with any dust. It is right there, easy access for me. I know this is going to be a common question. So for my nail desk, I have two Alex drawers from Ikea. And then we did get a custom top made to it at a local granite store. The top is quartz and I love it because it is very durable. It won't mess up anytime soon. So as long as I keep everything nice and clean, I should be good for a while. So for my first drawer on my left side, I love that these are the perfect size for nail art. I keep all my go-to stuff, everything that I use all the time. I have my hand files right here and some buffers. And then I have my square card reader right there as well. And then I have some extra sanding bands. These are from Profiles. My go-to top coats and of course some Tylenol because your girl gets headaches. In the back right here I have my lint-free wipes. And then some extra hand files just in case I need them for whatever reason. They're not my favorite but I have them there. And then off to 
the other side I keep all of my tips. I have the not polished ones and then the McCart ones on top. And then right here I have some more bits. These are extra ones that I may or may not use. I have my not polished ones. I have my profile bits and then just some extra bits that I've purchased over the years on Amazon and stuff like that. I have gum because we know we do not want stinky breath, especially that we are so close to our clients. So a nice little hack. Um, I love to buy these big containers. And so whenever I get finished with them, I just take out the inside of it and then I use that container for other things. For example, these bits, I actually have them in that container. It is the perfect size for it and I've actually used it for little decals or glitter that I have. They are freaking amazing for multiple uses. So for my second drawer, I have all kinds of crystals and charms and just random nail art stuff. So right here I have these containers. They contain the 3D charms. I'm probably never going to use them, but it's nice to have options. Some little pinwheels with nail art as well stacked right in back. And like I said, if anybody needs to borrow them, I'd let them use them because I'm probably never going to use them. I have some more random nail art stuff that I've accumulated. And then these are my stamping plates. So these acrylic containers, I have them linked in my Amazon storefront. You can find some like these anywhere, but I love that I always find use no matter what size they are. So that one was perfect for my stamping plates. As you can see, they fit perfectly. And then the larger container I have my crystals in these are all my backups and any crystals that I haven't gotten to use I have my makeup applicators for my pigments in that little container with more pigments and then those are all tips that I've used in the past on my practice hand and just some more nail art in the back so these little dividers I'm going to be sharing more about them when I get to the other side of my desk but these are spice racks from Ikea and they are perfect for these little containers and it keeps everything nice and organized. So for my third drawer I have more crystals, more glitter, more nail art, all kinds of random stuff. So these little acrylic containers were actually for a little um, display thing that I had on my desk previously. I wanted to declutter the top of my desk so I went ahead and just removed the drawers and placed them into this drawer. Um, I will eventually replace it so it doesn't actually have little handles but for now it works, it's perfect, it fits in there very well and it keeps everything organized so I'm not complaining. Um, I have all of my crystals in there that I have already removed from the packaging. I have them for the most part color coordinated. I have more underneath of this one. I actually have two drawers. So as you can see, they're all nice and organized. And then I have my darker colors in the bottom. So this little container, it is my OG. It is crusty and gross, but I freaking love it. I think it had like dried flowers in it previously, but when I finished those, I went ahead and placed all my go-to crystals. I keep all of my AB Swarovski crystals in there from large to small. And then on the other side, I just have more random crystals that I normally use. I love it. I recommend you guys do this because when a client wants crystals, I just grab this, take it out, use it, put it back. It's perfect. Now in this little cloudy container, I have my chrome pigments, some loose glitters. I have reused these containers from previous nail art that I've purchased. I love them because they have a lid and it keeps everything nice and compact, which I freaking love. I do recommend you guys you reuse any packaging that you have gotten from previous nail art. For example, this one fit perfect for these decals, so I went ahead and placed them in here. You can use it for so many different things. I have glitters, chrome pigments, and all of that. And then right here I have some decals just tucked away that I have never used, but they're there if I need them. And then of course I have my Profiles Backstage dried flowers in these containers. And then in this little implement box, I have my fishnet, some mylar tape, and then just those, those like really thin tapes. I keep those in there. Some foils. I have more loose glitters. These containers were also from Target. I have my metallic flakes right there. And then some more loose glitters in this container. 
Now for our fourth drawer, I have all of my go-to gel paints right here. Easy access for me, another implement box where I keep my stuff. I wanna keep them nice and straight up because if they do tip over, they will go all over the place. So in this one, I keep just my Profiles Backstage spider gels, some crystal gel right there. In this one, I have my Poochie's gel paints. I freaking love gel paint for my nail art. And then I have some more crystal gel right there. Some Mood pigments. And then I have my Young Nails gel paints right there in the same container because I don't want them to tip over. And of course, my Not Polished gel paints right underneath. Now for my transfer foil collection, I keep them all nice and neat in this drawer in these containers. I have most of them from Profiles Backstage. They used to come in those cylinder containers and then I transfer them into these. Profiles Backstage does have these empty containers if you guys are looking for an easy way to store them. Highly recommend you guys check them out. I freaking love it. As you can see, they just look perfect in them. And then you can color coordinate them, which makes me even more happier. And back there, I just have some random stuff that I don't even know what it is. Now for my last drawer on my left side, I have extra nail tips in this drawer. They're just my natural ones and I keep them in these containers. I bought these containers from the Dollar Tree. They came in a pack of two. They ran out of the gray ones, so I had to get some pink ones. My Young Nails e-file back there and my cords for my file and my LED light, some lotion and some more tips. So going on to the right side of my desk, I keep all of my pretty glitter mixes in my first drawer. These all are glitters with clear acrylic mixed into them. So I am using the spice racks from Ikea like I mentioned before, and they come in two rows. So I have three racks placed into it. They're perfect for these drawers. So I have one right there, one right there, and then one on the other side. And it keeps everything nice and organized for these containers. So I try to have all my glitter mixes like organized by color, I have the lights, and then I go from color to color. And then when we get to about right here, these are all mixed colors that I've custom made for clients. So sometimes we will have a client that wants a very specific blue. For example, this one, um, you know, they want a color that is in between two colors. And if I don't have it, I just go ahead and take one of these containers and mix it. And as you can see, I've accumulated so many colors from custom colors that I've mixed. And it's fine because I, that just means I have more options for my other clients. I haven't had any issues with any colors going to waste because I end up using them again anyways. So these little containers are from Amazon. They come in a pack of about 40 for like $10 or something like that. They will be linked in my link for it. Highly recommend them. I love them for mixing colors because it's such a small container and you won't waste a lot of product. The bigger the container, the more product you're going to mix, the more stuff you're going to waste. So for my favorite drawer and my second drawer on the right side, I have all of my really pretty raw glitters. Again, I keep those spice racks from Ikea's. I have another three in here as well. And then I have those same containers in the spice racks. 90% of these glitters are from Profiles Backstage, which I love that they use the exact same containers because it's easy for me to purchase my own and then just pour them into the containers. So I have them organized, like I said, by colors. And what I really like about these as well is when I accumulate more glitters, I just stack them up and then I can still see the glitters underneath on the other side. So I do really like it. I love that they're so compact and easy to organize. Right here I have my neon pigments and then just some more glitter and all of the black tops are glitters from Young Nails. So I keep those all the way to that side and then some more profiles glitters 
I freaking love this drawer. It's so nice and organized for the most part, I guess. Um, it just looks so pretty. When you have everything super organized like this, I love it. So for my third drawer, I keep my Peter. This is Peter, everyone welcome Peter. This is my fur and my backdrop for my pictures. And then I have this big container. This is not Young Nails acrylic in it. I just use a container because it's larger and I have my clear acrylic in there. Easy access for me, I keep that on top all the time because I use that on every single client. And then I have just other powders. These are glitter mixes. I'm not quite sure where they're from. All my profiles, acrylic, some Young Nails, powders, and then my go-to not polished colors, which is Nude Panther, of course. And then Fiesta Sista. These are my client's favorites. I have Valentino powders. Some of these are Valentino. Some of them are Young Nails. And then all the tiny black containers are Young Nails as well. Now for my fourth drawer, I keep some more colored acrylic. These are Glam and Glitz. I have them in this drawer because they didn't fit on my wall. Right here, I have all of the color blend collection from Glam and Glitz. I love them. They are so smooth. And then I have some glitter mixes, some mood, and some glow in the dark. An extra prop for pictures, I keep my marble tints. The ones that I DIY'd, those stay in here. And then another random um, polish right there. Those are bits that I have not gotten to, so I just keep them right here until I get a chance to do that. I have some raw glitter from Kiara Sky. They are so pretty. Make sure you guys check them out. I freaking love these glitters. And then for my last drawer all the way at the bottom, I just have a bunch of random stuff. Some Sharpies for nail art, stickers uh, that I've used at the salon, a brush holder, my gloves, and just random stuff that I don't really use. So they're all the way at the bottom. Now right behind me off to the right, I have my little trash can and this extra storage little cabinet drawer thing that I purchased. I have all my COVID stuff right here, extra masks, just in case my clients forgot theirs, some Lysol spray and some cleaning spray. Um, before the world went, you know, downhill, I only kept this little flower pot, this tiny little diamond, and this little succulent. Now I have all kinds of cleaning stuff and some extra hand sanitizer. In my first drawer, I keep all of my cat eye polishes. Right here in the back, I have all my not polished cat eye polishes. And then I have my profiles backstage cat eye polishes. And these are the magnets. I have about five or so magnets in that little pouch and I just tuck it away right there. Some extra top coats and some extra glue. And I love that everything is nice and organized. Now for my second drawer, I keep all my big tubs of acrylic. I have some black. My Nude Panther, of course, this is from Not Polish. Um, just some trash bags for my garbage can and another big tub of acrylic. Now for my third drawer, I keep just a bunch of random stuff. I have some lint-free wipes back there. And then I have some extra stuff that I've been wanting to try but I haven't got to yet. Those are right here. Some cuticle oil somebody sent me. And then I have extra bottles just in case I want to make more marble tints. And then for my last drawer, I keep all of my extra tips. These are from a cart. And then I have my practice hand tips right here, just tucked away out of sight. They aren't my go-to, so I keep them in this little cabinet. Now for my extra storage, I did purchase this off of Amazon. I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront. It's pretty durable. I love it. It went so well with my salon, so I knew I had to have it. Now on the opposite side of me, in back of me, would be my display of my colored acrylics. These are all organized by colors for the most part. 
I love how it looks. And then right here, I do have my license. I turned it around just so you guys couldn't see it. But the shelf was custom made by my husband. So huge shout out for him. I have all my glam and glitz up top. And then the rest are not polished. I highly recommend you guys try this. It's so much easier for clients to pick the color. And not only that, but it just looks aesthetically pleasing. It looks so good when everything is nice and neat. And then over on this corner, that is my Sono speaker, just in case anybody is wondering. And then I just threw some flowers around it. That basically concludes this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.